Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I am comparing the Lego Harry Potter Philosopher's Stone figures to the movie variants. Uh, now, just to note, this is only the most recent versions from like the 2018 reboot of Lego Harry Potter because I feel like if I was comparing every single different Harry Potter figure that's been made, you know, from the old 2001, you know, from like the old 2001 sets, I think that would be a little bit weird. You know, because it's very different times. So yeah, doing the most recent versions to the movie. Hope you enjoy. So here we have Harry Potter at the end of uh, Philosopher's Stone. And I'm just going to show you all of the figures now uh, from this scene because they're together in the picture. Now, my favourite figure from this, like, trio is Ron. I just love his torso, it's amazing, and I think they're all pretty accurate. Obviously they could have done with some injuries or something, but oh well, it's still a very good selection. Next we'll take a look at the Harry Potter figures with their robes on. Now obviously they all have a very similar torso printing for this, so I don't really have a favourite. I guess my favourite is Harry, just because I like his hair, pr uh, hair piece, but they're all pretty much the same, and they all look fairly accurate too their counterpart. I like the small touches, like Ron having his open, but yeah, not much detail that's changed. Now we have Malfoy. Now, I'm not a big fan on the hair piece. I don't know what hair they could have used, maybe the dog show trainer from one of the minifigure series, but it's not a bad figure at all. You know, I, I don't have any issues with it. It's very nice for what it is. Dumbledore is probably one of my favourite characters to get from Harry Potter because he just has such intricate and amazing robe designs as well as his beard. Now I think this does a good uh, thing where it combines like the first Dumbledore actor and the second one so it doesn't really look specifically like either of them but it's definitely a nice figure. Now I have Oliver Wood. Now he has my favourite Lego hair piece to get uh, however the lack of leg printing, I think, does kind of take away from this figure. I would prefer just some knee pads or something, just to add some detail. And I'm also going to include the Quidditch Harry, because they're pretty much the same figure, to be honest. Neville Longbottom. Um, again, like the hair piece, just the same robes as usual. The head print isn't the best, but, you know, it's good for what it is. And, yeah, pretty good. This is where I get bad with the names because I didn't really know any of the like background characters. I don't think it looks very similar, you know, they have very different hairstyles and colours. But it's definitely a good figure. Like, it's not bad at all, just not very accurate to the movie version. And same issue with the names. I think this one has a worse hair print, uh, or at least hair piece, but I don't think it's a bad hair piece for this figure. And they did a nice job at capturing the face as well. I very much like what they do with McGonagall and Dumbledore with the very intricate printing on their torso and legs. Now, I prefer having glass printing, like glasses printing, but it's not bad and it still looks kind of accurate to uh, Professor McGonagall. And here we have the not Ginny Weasley figure. Um, you know, I, I'm not good with the names again. I don't think this is a bad face print. It doesn't really capture her too accurately. Um, the hair piece is definitely the standout, and I think that's what helps quite a lot. And then, you know, the same jumper and leg printing as the other student uniforms. And here we have Professor Quirrell. Now, I think this is kind of an underrated figure. I wish it had leg printing, but the uh, turban print on the torso and the face is very nice. I don't have this figure, so I don't know if it has a Voldemort head, so I can't really talk about that, but if it does and it looks good, then this is a very accurate figure. Madam Hooch is this next figure. I very like the torso printing. Not sure about the face print. I would have preferred it if it had yellow eyes, or like a different style eye, because uh, I remember the original figure and has that is it a standout this eye comparison design. Video. If you enjoyed, um, please the hair like, is subscribe, nice, all you know, that usual it's stuff. a good figure, I just one. think the eyes could have been changed a little bit.